All right, this was our adventure of the Crusher EX uh, this year, 2020, was definitely harder than the Crusher 225 from Copper Harbor to Marquette. Here we go. Getting ready for the Crusher 235. Woke up at 4.40, it's almost 5.30. Got about a half hour till we're gone. It's a perfect morning. I get some video. I get some video. Oh my god. This should make it interesting. I'll go up Bryce and get the next one. I'm videoing this. <laughs> so this is our first checkpoint right here. We're getting close. Okay. Yeah. I just see that sign on that tree. And I'm up through here, I can just grab the front wheel. <laughs> that might be the deal. Better footing for me. And I don't have to scuff the bike. Can I get some, I get some video? There's a group right in front of us, some people. I get some video. Um, oh my god. This should make it interesting. I'll go up Bryce and get the next one. I'm videoing this. <laughs> so this is our first checkpoint right here. Getting close. Okay. Yeah. I just see that sign on that tree. Yeah, a peak up here. that would be a good spot for I'll stay here and you have me your bike. Just want to grab that one, Mike? Yeah. You got that ass well, I got like a really good <sighs> footing right here. I feel like you could have just made out it if you were like seeing it. Hey, Bryce, can you, uh... Oh, I like this light bike. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely went the right way, man. Wait till, wait till you get a hold of this. Fuck. Bryce's lead sled. <laughs> Is this heavier than mine? Oh, bro. Well, he's got a steel bike, too. This. I don't know, my heart feels probably comparable to you guys. Oh, right, this is a tank, dude. World Cup bike right here. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna start bringing yours all the way up. I like it. That's the way to bring it. All the way down. All the way down. I respect that. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. There, we have a video of that hole. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting perspective, I think. Look at that. Seventeen miles in, boys. Yeah, and honestly, at this point, we had some pretty smooth sailing. It was just a, a lot of nice road sections, and nothing was too crazy yet. So. Yeah, and after some smooth sailing, we hit our second checkpoint, which is the water spigot. Water was ice cold, it was really good. And then we uh, got back on and kept moving. Well, this hit 510. 40 miles in. I don't know, it's not that bad. At this point, we hit our third checkpoint, or fourth, which was the abandoned snowplow. At this point, we hit our fourth checkpoint, which is the Mount Arvon mailbox, and it is a lot easier to go up the side that we went up this year than the side that we went up last year. Hey, it's this guy. Oh, drop our bandit. All right. Found him like a champ. At this point, it has been 90 degrees the last few hours, and it's going to be 90 degrees for a long time, and uh, it gets... Be pretty dumb, pretty like. rough here uh, until we get to Lons. Well, we just cracked mile 90. It's 90 degrees out. And uh, yeah, we're nine hours in. So 
a third of the way through. Hmm. All right, Pete, how we doing? All right, man. Bryce? Woo! Let's go! Okay. Yeah. yeah. We just broke a hundred some. Yeah, at this point, we uh, were heading down to the super sandy area down oh. by the Huron River crossing, and the water was well, ice here. cold. Felt so good, washed up, uh, definitely got all the sweat and grime off. Felt really good. I smoked my pedal with my foot. Oh, man. I gotta cool off. I'm gonna probably take two trips. I don't wanna drop my shoes. That's not a bad idea. I guess you a Yeah, it was this point after the Huron River crossing that we had, I think, a 30 or 40 mile section of road or, you know, nice smooth road. It was so hot all the way into Lantz, flew through Lantz, climbed up a couple horrible hills and uh, headed into Cormac Outhouse. Yeah, it was at this point we were just bombing down these horribly steep up and down stair steps of Jeep Road. And uh, we ended up hitting the road that the lighthouse was on. And it's just this long seven mile straight of the worst asphalt road I've ever seen. After this, we uh, hit our sag wagon and we were on our way into Mosquito Gulch. Probably it's somewhere at one o'clock in the morning over, know. I don't even know how many hours on the bike. And uh, we're all getting pretty tired, you know, pretty what malnourished. The heat of the day kind of mm -hmm. stopped our eating and we were trying to catch up on calories and water again. But once you get behind, you're always, it's so hard to catch back up. So away we go. Yeah, at this point, the Yellow Dog River crossing was insane. That was literally the most painful river crossing I'd ever had in my life. If I ever do this race again, bring Crocs. I did, that was the most pain I had ever been on walking through the rocks in that in that river barefoot at, you know, whatever time it was at mile 150 or 170. It was the worst pain. I, I literally Through cannot. Mosquito stuff. Gulch, up the gullies, there's six foot sandy on eight foot on each side. And we get to the top and one of the guys that was in front of us, we were kind of chasing for the last couple hours. Him and his buddy are at the top and one of them's just vomiting. And I'm just like, this is literally the worst spot for anybody to be and not feeling well. So we end up catching up to him later, give him a Coke, and uh, they finished in front of us. So kudos to those guys. This was, I don't know, two, three in the morning, and we were just going out for another three or four hour hammer session, cross-eyed. I had already crashed for the first time, uh, just fell flat, uh, couldn't get unclipped. Not in a good mental spot, and then uh, just trying to finish the rest of the night with uh, lights that didn't burn out. So, next photo is a photo of us. Uh, this, I have no recollection of where this is. This is somewhere after mile 212, and we're getting ready to make the last push to go get the Chunky Summit, and uh, I have never laid down on a more comfortable stretch of Uber road before, but 
pretty sure I took a 10 minute nap. <laughs> At this point, my wife had told us, make sure you guys finish before 8 a.m. tomorrow. We did not know what was coming. We had this beautiful sunrise and uh, we had some heat lightning, we thought, throughout the night, but oh my god. We're somewhere back on the chunky summit, and there were rocks flowing down the two track. There was so much water. Yeah, and after the chunky summit, I think we had a five mile downhill section into the Forestville campground, and we ended up finishing in 26 hours and 30 minutes. And it was the hardest race I'd ever done. Bravo, Todd, that was, and Matt, that was insane.